Hello, my name is Matter Wellens. Welcome to Lisa, the Joyful. If by chance this is your first time stumbling upon a Lisa video, I would suggest you go check out Lisa the Painful as well as Lisa the First first. This is the DLC sequel to the main Lisa the Painful game and oh my dear god, I am so excited right now. I can't even, words cannot describe. Lisa the Joyful. If you don't play the game, if you've never come into contact with Lisa before, you might think, hey, it sounds pretty cheery, it's joyful, right? But we know better. We know better. The joyful. The joy and joyful doesn't mean happy, does it? It means that blasted blue pill. So the title kind of sounds optimistic, but knowing this world, it's probably not going to be like that. Um, one thing I would like to talk about before we start though is, uh, I completely forgot about this until I was editing the ending of Lisa the Painful. You know how at the very end, Brad turned into a joy mutant and, uh, yeah, hmm. I completely got distracted by the conversation between Yado and Buzzo at the end, but it showed the last thing we saw was mutant, joy mutant Brad crawling towards a unconscious buddy. So we never got to see what happened and for all we know, Brad could have really hurt Buddy. I don't know, but judging by how we have the sequel based on Buddy right now, she should be still alive, but clicking that new game button is kind of scary. And as you can see here in the title screen, uh, Lisa? Lisa is looking a little bit more bloody than usual. Uh, I, I think that's Lisa. I don't know. Well, I hope everybody is prepared because I'm not, but we're gonna begin anyway. That's way too happy sounding. Brad. Oh, wow. Okay. This must be before everything happened because we have arms. We... Killed somebody, it looks like. Alright. At this point, it doesn't seem like... Oh, we'll find out now. Do we have Buddy yet here? Or... Buddy. Wake up. Huh? Today's the day. If anything ever happens to me, I need you to be prepared. This won't be easy. What's going on, Brad? What's in the bag? Is he dead? No. Not yet. It's a rough world outside. People are always going to try and hurt you. No fancy moves for you. You need to be strong, decisive, and deadly. This will be the most important lesson I can teach you. You must become numb, able to take a life at a moment's notice. I know this will be tough, but I promise. What? What happened? Where, where am I? What the fuck? A girl? When it comes to killing a man. Hey, what, what's going on? You must be precise. What are you doing? Thrust the blade into his throat. No, what the fuck? Drive it deep. Don't listen to him! Twist. He's fucking crazy! And rip the blade out. Hey! Kill or be killed. Do it now, buddy. My daughter will not be weak. You must be strong. Free yourself. Please! Don't! 
Good. Next time, he won't be tied up. Welcome to Lisa the Joyful! Jesus Christ. What an opening. No need to show off to yourself. Remember our deal. He's mine from now on. I don't want your little friends getting in the way. Well, I can't make any promises. My methods don't work on all of them. That Randall fellow, is he okay? Is he still able to protect her? If you're so worried about it, why don't you go protect her yourself? Or are you just too scared? Huh, you weak old man? Just go and take care of your little pet. Fine. And listen up. From this point on, we are finished. You don't cross me, and I won't cross you. Whatever. If you do get in my way, I'll show you just how weak I really am. Oh, the ending scene. Lisa. Help. Oh, we're buddy now. And we're awoken by Brad's wailing. Holy shit. You know what your dad taught you. Stab well and twist it. A well-placed and deadly stab. It's difficult to land this finishing blow. Not a quick and jarring one, a decisive one. Brad coughed up blood. Alright. So thank goodness nothing happened to Buddy. I don't know what's- I don't know what Brad, or can we even call that Brad, is thinking about anymore though. He may have mistaken us for Lisa. Okay. Buddy uses TP. So... Alright. We can get some more by just regular stabbing. Hey! Stand back! I've told you about those pills. And yet you still tempt your curiosity? I... No matter. Brad comes with me. Why are you doing all of this to him? Look at him! Little girl, you're free now. It's not healthy to dwell on the past. Huh, <laughs> like you're one to say. I'm sure you have some pretty deep-seated psychological problems to be toying with Brad like that. Take it from me. Otherwise, you'll end up a crazy person. <laughs> yeah, like you. You're not gonna hurt me? Nope. I don't want to hurt you. I never did. But make no mistake, you slip up at all, and this world will tear you apart. Welcome to hell, sunshine. <laughs> and that's it! Not with a warm welcome, but with a... <sighs> Very jarring start. That's how Buddy's solitude into this world begins. Okay, let's check us out first. Buddy, level 5 Wanderer. Oh, we have Joy, of course. Jerky, domestic jerky. Nothing yet. Buddy has stab and decisive stab. Equipment. Saber means to cut. I actually didn't know that, so thank you for that knowledge. Bandages found to cover your wounds. Brad taught you how to apply them. Dead flower, personal keepsake. Yeah. 
Brad also had a dead flower. Although in his case, it might have been to remember Lisa. Remember there was a flower here, like on the spot I'm standing at right now? But that's no longer the case. Alright. So the conversation in the beginning... Uh, obviously, I can't 100% say who it is, but it seems like it's Dr. Yado and Bernard. I'm gonna call him Bernard from now on because he's an asshole and I want to piss him off. So should we go that way or go back to where we came from? I don't suppose Trumpet Man is still here, right? We can try. What about Rando? Hmm. Is he still alive? Oh. He's done. Okay, maybe we should be going the other way then. I'm not sure which way is the, the right way to go. Is Trumpet Man still here? Nope, he's not there. He's not there. Let's try to go this way first and see... Ah, oh, our first save point. And this is how Buddy's journey begins. In solitude, in complete solitude. I don't suppose. Of course. And unlike Brad, I'm pretty sure we'll take damage when we fall, so let's try to avoid that. Okay, I hope this is the right way to go. Or actually, I hope it's not the right way to go so we can go back the other way, which is the correct way to go. Hmm. Oh, wait. Okay, I have to be up there. Oh, looks like we might have to take a little bit of a fall. Let's see. I hope we can't go this way. Okay! We don't have a bike, so everything will be much more difficult. Where did Buddy get her saber? We didn't really see that with her the whole time, right? When she was being kidnapped and everything. Whoa! Wow! No fall damage? Oh, I don't think we can go this way. Hmm. Can I test this again? Wow! Buddy is like a cat! My goodness. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. A little petite girl would be a lot more agile than a bulky old man. <laughs> but in any case, let's go back the other way then. Doesn't seem like we can continue on. You know what's terrible? When we walk through the corpses, the sound effect is different. See, this is the normal pavement sound. And then... Ain't that terrible? Okay. We are in the land of the unknown now. So, Rando's place still continues on a little bit, it seems like. Ooh. It's a pile of red skull masks. Can we have one? I mean, it would really help to mask the whole, you know, girl thing. Oh, yeah, that's a really big concern, isn't it? The moment we come across somebody who's not Buzzo, or Bernard, they're gonna be like, oh my god, girl! And, uh, yeah, not gonna be fun for us. So, what? Oh my, no! Is Buddy depressed? Is that depression? I don't know. A young woman aching to explore her life, her power, and her freedom. Oh, buddy. Well, let's not compound that with a drug addiction, shall we? Running and leaping. Hold shift to sprint. Oh! <gasps> When sprinting, you can jump big gaps, but be careful. When you get older, this becomes much tougher. Watch those knees. Cash money, Terry in there. Oh, Terry. Oh my god. Buddy is like a little ninja. And she's wearing Brad's poncho too. Oh shit. Look everybody! Holy shit. 
It's the amazing buddy! I often wondered, what's more likely? Seeing your pretty little face? Or paying off my home loan? Ha! You see, friends, it pays to wait. Like Daddy used to say. When it comes to a king's buffet, there's no shame in eating table scraps. Especially when the scraps are this tasty. Ha! Okay, enough goofing. Grab that pristine meat! Stop! Huh? <gasps> Rando! Leave her alone. P please Oh shoot! It's the fearsome Rando! And he's begging us to stop? <laughs> what a joke! Like Daddy used to always say, you're only as good as your worst day. And let me tell you, you're having a bad day, big boy. Hey! <laughs> He's right. I... I can't do this. We need to run. Not so fast! This is Bolo's world now! Nothing will stop the conquest of the Golden Opportunist. Oh my! Go now! Fa! Fa! Quick! In here! Are you okay? Of course. Did Brad do this to you? Don't worry. I, I... I'm fine. Hey! D don't be mad at him. He just wanted to protect... Please, I've heard that enough. Sticky told me about you. Ah, S Sticky. He didn't hurt you, did he? I put a lot of t trust in him. No, he never hurt me. He just told me lots of stories. And he cried a lot. Oh, okay, now we know for sure that Sticky didn't lay a finger on her, thank God. But now I feel bad for, well, killing him. But he was in my way. He was in my way, let's just say that. <laughs> but he never touched me. Oh, but Buddy knows about these concepts now, huh? I see. It's that beast. We need to go. I I'm still pretty weak. I, I need some help from some friends. Buddy. Yes? I know we just met, but I want peace. I want growth. I I'm sick of seeing bl blood. You understand that without women, we humans will all die out? I know. G good. I, I want to fix this world. And only you can do it. Oh no, Randa, what are you saying? But you'll need help. I need you to trust me on this. Hmm... I mean, obviously, as Buddy, we don't know much about him. But every time we've seen Rando as Brad, he's been pretty nice. He gave us rations, and... Oh, we killed all of his army members, and... He was still like, Master Armstrong, you're the strongest after all, and... Oh, I would trust him. In this world, I don't think there are very many people we can trust anymore. Good. What? What? Did I just do something I regret? Also, I I wanted to give you s something. You got some random rations. Why is it black? And this. Oh, red skull mask. 
It will keep us safer. I, I hope. Yeah, Randall's name still carries. Oh, that is so cute. What the hell is this? Oh. <laughs> what is this? This is so cute. And oh my dear God. Randall, peace bringer. A true warrior, regardless of what he wants, he feels compelled to protect you. Oh, badass belt buckle. Oh, Rando. Oh, I'm so touched. I'm so touched. Can we can we wear the armor? The mask worn by Rando. Yeah, Rando's name should still carry some weight around here, right? So hopefully if we're in the Rando faction, people won't mess with us. What about that creepy mutant though? I don't suppose anyone's killed it yet. Let's check it out. Dude, this is way too adorable. Oh my dear god. Mm, but Rando is big and bulky and won't be able to make that jump. Okay, you know what is weird? We don't even see any corpses around here where the mutant did his work. So that's really not looking good. Oh! Never mind. I spoke too soon. What's going on here? Buddy is waking up. What does that mean? Oh, Buddy's depression is gone? Oh, they killed it! Fucking hell! That was tough! Yo, uh, boss? What? Look! What the fuck do you want now? Oh! Holy shit! What the fuck? Rando! And Lil fucking Rando? <laughs> Let me through. I d d don't want any trouble. Huh? Your voice? No wonder this boy never speaks! Please, let us go through. Do you think I'm fucking stupid? We ain't overlooking that little randio on your shoulders. Quit fooling. It's the girl, fellas! Get her! This world. Man. Well, if you're gonna play like that, then. Tanaka Mendes, Wade Bryant, Ernie Fowler, Lenny Luigo. Paul Suisse, Harry Dancer, Frank Caldwaller. It's funny how even though all these people only appear once, they all still have unique names. I think that makes the world a little bit more realistic. Oh, look at these! These are the moves that we... that Master Armstrong taught us. Jesus. Okay, who is... Okay. Are you serious? That guy just chose- oh my god, you guys are attacking a little child. Do you feel good about yourself? Holy shit. My god, okay, one of these must- Ah, oh, look, look, Buster Punches, an Armstrong classic. My god. Oh, oh, Randall is a uh, combo dude too. Okay, shit. Give me, give me a second to write all of this down. Okay, okay, I got it. Armstrong style. Jeez. Okay, let's see. You guys, stop attack- Oh my god, stop attacking the child, Jesus. Can we heal? Ah, uh, let's heal a little bit, buddy. You guys need to get a grip, oh my god. Are you guys serious? You guys just attacking a child like this? What the hell is wrong with you? Be ashamed of yourselves. If you kill her, that would be the end of all your, you know, chasing after her. Get a grip, man. Let's get rid of these guys quickly. Rando is pretty weak right now, too. Ch 
Jeez. Buddy, decisive stab. Come on. Yes. Ooh, massive level up for Buddy, I hope. Oh, look at it. She's so short, she can't even reach the the screen, the dialogue screen at the bottom. You can only see a patch of her hair. Level 7, two level ups. Hope we get some new attacks soon. Yeah, got some stuff. Where did... Did you learn to fight? I'm curious too. From Brad. He taught me to defend myself. What? He never showed me anything like that. Let's keep moving. We're almost there. That is true. So I assume... Hmm, no, where did she get the saber though? Oh my god. Ew. Oh, Jesus. Is there like a higher concentration of mutants around here or are we just being unlucky? Or maybe it's because everyone's gathered here trying to... There's the depression again. Trying to capture Buddy and then the joint mutants are like, Hey, what's the commotion over there? Let's all go. Big Lincoln. What is this? This is the border between Eastern and Western Olathe. It's called the List. These people run Olathe in order from top to b b bottom. Th they rule territories of Olathe. What about you? I don't see your name. M me and my army are left alone. W well... We were. I guess times have changed. Now that you're here. B -b Buddy? You okay? Yes, sorry. Let's keep going. Yeah. All right, so we have Hawk Hollywood. Oh, Hawk Hollywood is that really narcissist guy. In Area 3, right? Han Tsunami, the guy at the bathhouse. Buff Van Dyke. I don't remember who that one is. Vega Van Dam, Mr. Beautiful. Carrie Hernandez. Carrie? Wait, Cardi? Hernandez? Fardy was a Hernandez, right? Oh my god, does he have a brother that high up? Dice Mahoney? I'm pretty sure we've run into that last name before. Cindy Gallows. Big Lincoln. Hmm. Who updates this stuff? 